In my last video, I showed you how I create a grid for my sketches before I start painting. I'll link the video at the end if you're curious and you want to know how I do it. And today I want to show you kind of like the second step to the grid, which is how I transfer my sketches onto the canvas. It's very easy. I'll show you in a minute if you want to go straight to it. Here's the timestamp. But first, I just wanted to go through the pros of having a sketch separately from the final product which is a canvas or a final drawing because technically i could go straight on the canvas sketch there and start painting i've done that in the past but there are a few cons to that method the reason i use a grid is to have a more precise sketch and very often when it's a more tricky more detailed subject matter when i want a more expressive painting something a little bit more loose i would go straight to the canvas without having a precise sketch because that in itself has a very interesting feel that you can't really get if you're trying to be too precise. But when I want to be more figurative, like something like this, I want the proportions to be right and I have a reference photo that I'm basing myself off of, then I often use a grid. The pros of sketching on a separate sheet of paper instead of the canvas is that I could draw my grid with a pen and then sketch with a pencil. This way, whatever mistakes I make along the way, I can just erase without being bothered by erasing the grid that I worked hard to construct. Another pro is that once my transfer is on my canvas, there's no grid to erase from the canvas. So instead of working hard to make the grid disappear before I start painting, I just transfer the sketch itself. Another pro to do it separately is that, let's say, I'm doing a portrait. I'm working on the left eye. I mess it up real bad. I want to start it over, paint over the eye and start again because it's too messed up. If the grid and the sketch was directly on there, I would have to re-sketch my eye. If it's on a separate piece of paper, I could just re-transfer that part of my sketch on my canvas and keep working. Another pro for me is that sketching on paper is a lot easier to erase and redo and work than sketching on canvas. Canvas is fabric and with pencils, it's not as easy. Lastly, if I want to redo this painting at some point in the future using a totally different color scheme or a different technique or different art supplies, I have my sketch and I could just retransfer it. In my last video, I gave all the tips on how to create the grid. Obviously, for this method, I need to have my sketch the exact same format as my final painting or drawing. In this case, it's a 24 by 30. So I kind of glued two pieces of paper together to get the size right. I did my sketch. Then I find a nice, comfortable window in my house. I flip my sketch over, tape it to the window that will act kind of like a light box. And with an HB or a B pencil, I go in and I shade over all of the contour lines of my sketch. I don't press super hard. I just need to have a little bit of pencil on there. If I did press too hard, it would kind of smudge on my canvas and just dirty the canvas for nothing. I just need to cover all the contour line in kind of like a thin to medium coat of pencil. Once it's done, I slap it on my canvas and I go over it with a pencil or with a colored pencil maybe or a different color or even like a pointy tool. It acts like a carbon paper and magically transfers the sketch. You can buy graphite paper that does exactly that instead of having to shade in pencil on the back of my sketch. It does the exact same thing, but instead of buying graphite paper, sometimes it's, it's too small and it's kind of fiddly. I just like doing it that way. In cases where I have a background that's already painted, and especially if it's a dark background, I would use a white chalk or a white dry pastel to do the exact same process and it works. I'll be painting this in the next few weeks. If you're curious and you want to see how it turns out, subscribe and hit the bell for notification. You can watch this one if you want more art tips and I'll see you in just a couple of days for another one. Bye.